Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Before I get into anything about today's video, I need to apologize for a few things. One, my hair. Y'all, just look, okay? I ain't feeling the hair. I ain't feeling doing it right now. I don't wanna do it right now. So I'm not gonna do it right now. Two, I need to apologize for this makeup. I tried out a brand new foundation today and literally as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm going to go get in the shower. I'm going to wash all of this crap off of my face and then I'm going to throw that makeup away because it is god awful. My face is so cakey. My nose is cakey. Everything is just like, ugh. So just ignore, ignore it. Okay, just ignore it all. I took off my fake lashes so my eyelids are looking a little weird. Just bear with me, all right? Because we're here to talk about weddings. So in today's video, like I just said, we're going to be talking about wedding stuff, particularly engagement photos. I know I've had a lot of wedding series videos out recently, but that is because I'm kind of in a point now where I'm planning a lot more. If you've ever planned a wedding, you know there's like a ton of stuff to do, nothing to do. A ton of stuff to do, nothing to do. And right now I'm in one of the stages where everything is moving. Say the dates are about to go out, wedding invitations have been ordered, all my girls are getting their dresses, we have to make flower decisions this month. We have to kind of figure out what my fiance is going to be wearing at the wedding this month. So it's, it, there's just a lot happening right now. And in particular, my engagement photos. Now, I know I post my engagement photos. If you follow me on Instagram all the time, I adore my engagement photos. My photographer, Amber McDowell, did an amazing job. And I post them all the time on Facebook for wedding countdowns. I post them on my blog. I just, I love the engagement photos and I don't think I've talked about them on here yet. So today I'm going to be talking about my engagement photos, what I wore, how you can pick your outfit out, and I think that's pretty much it. Before I forget, make sure to go below and subscribe if you haven't already because I put up three videos every single week and I want you to be a part of my YouTube family. So let's just get into this video because the quicker I get the video over with, the quicker I can go shower off this awful face. So before you take your engagement photos, I think that one very important detail you should know about your wedding is what kind of wedding you want. And I have always wanted a formal wedding. So that is what I'm having, a formal black tie wedding. It is going to be at five in the evening. It says it on the invitation. Be very Mariah, I mean, hello. So I wanted my save the dates to reflect that. Now I will be showing my save the dates in next week's videos. So if you guys make sure you subscribe, if you're not, or you tap that bell so you get notifications when I post videos so you can see my save the date. I'm not gonna show them to you guys in this video, but basically I wanted my save the date to look very formal and I wanted the pictures that we used for the save the dates to look very formal. So when making my decision on what I wanted to wear, I went to, I believe it was like JCPenney, and I found two formal gowns, and I adored them. One was a two-piece, I guess it would be considered, if it was one gown, it would be considered like an A-line, because it was very, very tight, white crop top, and then it was a floral skirt. It was a gorgeous outfit, gorgeous dress. My fiance wore um, for every photo. We did bring something for him to change into, but he ended up not changing. He wore a white button up with a black bow tie, black suspenders, black pants, and black shoes. And it just looked amazing. The reason that I chose this particular gown for my engagement photos was because it was floral and I'm getting married next May and I still wanted that to kind of show. I'm having a summer wedding and I'm having a formal event. So I kind of wanted to tie all that in together. And so that is where I got the first dress from was the JCPenney, I believe it was like the junior prom section. And I wore a size nine. I will link the dress below if I can find it online, if they still have it in stock. I don't know if they do because at this point, it's been about six to seven months since I purchased the dress. If not, I'm sure you can find something on Rent the Runway, um, I'm sure you can even still find something at like Belk or JCPenney or even online. There's so many different places that you can go now, and but that's just where I happen to luck out. The second dress that I wore for my engagement photos was, oh, can we just take a second? 
This also depicts exactly what I wanted for the wedding. Usually I wear very form-fitted gowns. This gown was electric blue and it had these gorgeous big pink flowers on it and it turned out so beautiful for our engagement photos. Again, like I said, I think I already said it once, it tied in a summer wedding with the formal wedding. I did also purchase that one at JCPenney in the junior prom section, and it is also a size nine. So the next dress that I wore, I actually got from Lulu's. I love this dress. I have worn this dress so many times. It is just a gorgeous dress. It's one of those dresses that you can tie like however many different ways, and I just chose to do a very simple, elegant, just like a straight back. I tied it up behind my neck, I pulled it down and it was kind of like cross-backed and I loved the way this gown looked because I did want something that was a little bit more form-fitted and a little more flowy for our engagement photos and it actually turned out perfectly. And like I said, the dress was from Lulu's and it will be linked below if I can find it. So I know a ton, a ton, a ton of people who are getting married, who are engaged, which essentially is the same thing, but who are about to be getting married and some of them have posted their engagement photos, some have not. A lot of people have voiced their opinion that they love my engagement photos, but they think I'm absolutely nutso for wearing formal gowns. Like I keep saying, I wanted to tie in that I'm going to have a formal wedding, but also I wanted my engagement photo to be dressier than any other photo that I can just take with my fiance on a normal day. We have a million and one photos, of us in jeans, of us in cute shirts. Um, I have photos of me and him at a dance that we went to during our one year anniversary. We're both dressed up pretty nice. And I just wanted nicer photos. I wanted photos that I will look at one day and be like, oh, I'm just so glad. Classic, like chic, beautiful, simple photos that really reflected who we were in a dressier way. And I feel like we nailed that on the head. So we chose to do our engagement photos in April 2017, which was just a few months ago. Um, we'll be getting married May 2018, and we did it in April because we wanted it to be beautiful outside, we wanted it to be sunny and shiny, and we wanted the flowers to be blooming, and so we didn't want like fall photos for a summer wedding, and so we ended up, it, was, it worked out perfect, we did them in April over our spring breaks, and it just was like the most gorgeous day ever. When picking a location for your engagement photos, I think it's very important that you pick a place that is kind of what you're going for for your wedding. So I have a friend, she's getting married in October. Their engagement photo, I'm picturing it right now, it's in front of a barn. So like it's a very close up picture of her and her fiance. And they're in front of, I believe it's a barn or barn door because you can see the wood behind them. It's just such a perfect example of what type of wedding they're going to be having. It says, hey, our wedding's gonna be like country, chic, rustic. And you get that from the invitation. And I love that. It just all ties in very well together. So I think location is very, very important. What you wear, what your fiance wears. Like I said, my fiance just wore like a very structured, not a full suit, but basically what would be a full suit without the jacket for our engagement photos. Just make sure that he matches you. Don't be in a long formal gown and have him in jeans and a t-shirt. That would just look crazy. Vice versa, don't be standing there in like, you know, jeans and a cute top and have him in like, a very fancy, like semi-formal to formal outfit. You're just gonna look nuts. And when selecting your photographer, make sure, I cannot stress this enough, ask other vendors who they recommend first. If I listened to every single friend that was like, oh, I'll hire this photographer, oh, I'll hire this photographer, oh, I'll hire this photographer, I would have had not only the worst engagement photos ever, but I would have just had like someone's mom who has like a point and shoot camera doing my photos, okay? And when I asked other vendors who I should use for my photos, although we pretty much knew that we wanted to use Amber, when every vendor we asked was like, oh, I love Amber McDowell, I love so-and-so, I love so-and-so, we were like, see, they've worked with Amber, they think the same thing we do. We ended up not even looking at another photographer. We pretty much knew we were gonna work with her. She's amazing. She was just very good at picking up on vibes. So make sure you have a real photographer, not somebody's BFF with a point and shoot camera. Get a real photographer because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when it's all over and the last bouquet is thrown, 
All you have is the memories, a video if you got one, and the photos. So make sure that your save the dates are exactly what you want them to be. Be yourself, have fun, try and represent what you want your wedding to be in your save the dates. And I think your guests will kind of get where you're going just from save the dates, which go out eight months before. And that's just, that's my piece of advice to you. So I just, I have to go shower off this makeup. I, 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 I got to, <laughs> can't do it anymore. <laughs> but as always, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already to get notifications of when I upload. I will go ahead and share my engagement photos with you after the end of this video. And I will see you next time.